Alright, hello. So today I'm going to be painting this Lehman Russ, Lehman Russ battle tank in this colour scheme here. So green, like like um the British ones in World War One. This is um um oh, I haven't done this in a while. Alright. So this is the tank I will be playing. It's got painting. It's got a heavy flamer. Lance cannon. And a plasma gun. And a driver sticking out. But well, I need to fix that later. But, alright. I'll be back shortly. Alright, so first I'll be taking this bit off. So I can paint this bit separately, because this is the main bit. Alright, now I need to get the paints out that I'm using. Alright, so the paints I'm going to use is um, Cobalt Skin for his skin. Khaki for his clothes. Olive grey for the tank and his armour. Oh, okay. Some black for the tracks. Agrax earth shade as the wash and lead belcher. And I suspect I'm also going to need um, Mournfang brown. I think. Can't see because there's a big paint splurge over the name. Alright so to start off with I would use I'm gonna use olive grey and I'm just gonna squirt that onto my palette. And just basically you can cover pretty much the whole model just except for bits here. So I'm gonna start painting it on. Now, um, you're going to have to forgive for the bad construction some bits. This was the first tank I ever made. Well, technically my dad made it for me. And so, flame in if you want to. The last gun, um, plasma gun. I mean, it's the last gun. It's a plasma cannon, technically, but alright. So you'd basically do this, all pretty much all over our model except for this bit. And you don't need to worry about under here, unless you flip your tanks over when you've killed them. But I usually would just take this off and put a cloud of smoke. Alright. Also you would want to paint this as well so I'd probably paint pretty much all of this including uh, the lid as you might say and then this little bit around here as green so I'm just going to start doing that so I'm just going to paint one side, pause it and then show you the finished bit because here's the finished bit for the body of the tank alright so I've painted the green on the main body and on this next I would move on to lead belcher and ooh, I'm just gonna get out in, shake it up a bit and I'm gonna get out the pot then I'll just paint this onto the weapons 
any like fancy quillers stuff, these bits, any fancy symbols, the weapons, and on the turret I'll point out the bits when I get to that. So areas like here. So, for example, so yeah, on the weapons, except for the plasma bit for plasma gun. Also, I'll probably use McCrag Blue for that. Probably should mention that later. But yeah, so I'm just gonna pause and come back once I've done all the metal bits. All right, so on the turret here, I would be painting um, the barrel, any fancy symbols like the one here. And yeah, that'll be it. So I'm just gonna get started on the barrel. And I'll come back once I've finish painting the barrel. Right, so next I'm going to move on to black by Vallejo. Just going to squeeze some out. Well, I'm going to need some new black next time I get paints. Right, so the black bits are pretty much just the tracks. Yeah, only the tracks, and I've just touched some of the metal paint. Shit. But, yeah, so just the tracks. And here. So, after I've done this, I'll come back and show you the end result. Alright, now I've painted the black on the tracks, and there isn't any black here, so all that's really left um, is to paint the plasma on the plasma cannon, and the person, then I'd wait for it to dry, or clean up any bits of mist, like over here, of mist and bits, and then apply the wash of Agrax Earth Shade. But so I'm just going to actually paint the plasma bit in front of you. So I'm just going to be using the crag blue because I don't want to do any fancy highlighting. Right, just going to pop this here. Just going to paint this one on camera because there isn't that much of it. And so. fix that later. It's too much of my brush. And just paint. Alright, that's just gonna do me. If you want to you could dot here like a plasma gun is firing. But you don't have to. Right, so I'm just gonna wash out my brush. Okay. So next I'm also just gonna paint I'm also just gonna paint the man on camera because all that is is a little bit of khaki, some brown and some green and then some skin. Right, so 
going to start with the khaki. this up and begin painting. Right, this is a bit watered down so once it's dried I might go back over it. Might. and stuff. I'm just gonna see if I've got some slightly less water down bits. There we go. Pot up on the uh, the wash will darken this down making it a more better colour. Alright, so then just gonna wipe that off and then and mourn bang brown. Also this was yeah just khaki. Let's shake this up. This might be a bit watered down too. That's just it for brown. And once again, I'm just gonna wipe it off. And then it's gonna be back to olive grey. And I'm just gonna use some that I've previously squirted out actually. Don't want to waste more paint. Just get on the shoulder pad. You could paint the skull white. But that is a very, but the skull is very small and very hard to see. So no. Hey, oh, I should film like this more often. Right, now I'm gonna. Hold it. Now I'm not gonna wipe that off. And then put on the skin colour. Uh, cobalt skin. Right. Don't unscrew this. You're gonna have to bear with me a second. Actually, I'm gonna pause. All right, I'm back to painting this little dude here. All right, so next, it's the skin. So I'm just gonna have to put my around the camera so you guys can see. So it's what? Oh, oh, bugger it all! Making it fall. Right, this is also a little bit watered down. Well, no, I didn't water it down, but it's a bit wet. Well, that's too high. 
add on the face there. That's why you need either really small brushes or brushes with a very big tip. No, well, that's bugging the face a little bit, but. Alright, so that will about do it. I'm gonna. Okay, what I'm gonna do is wait for it all to dry, and then come back and I'll do do the wash, and I'll show you the end result. Well, I'll show you me doing a bit of the wash, and then I'll show you the end result. All right. Now that um, I've waited for things to dry and I've tidied up bits I've missed, I'm going to move on to a wash stage of Agrax Earthshade. Right, I think, just if I shake it, shake it, put it here, pick it up, again, on your brush. And just wipe it down everywhere. Oh. Alright, I'll come back after I've done the wash and I'll show you the end result and finish the video. Alright then, so I've put the wash on. Now I'm going to wait for it to dry. After uh, it dried, I could um, dry brush it with some metal to show like paint being wet, wired off and stuff, but I don't really want to do that. I want to get this video out. So I'm just going to wait for it to dry, assemble it, show you the end result, and then finish the video. Alright, so the wash is pretty much dried now and I'm just going to assemble it real quick. And this is the end result. Right. So as you can see his clothes did darken down a bit. Now it is looking a bit dark because it's later in the day now and I don't have a light but we will get a light one day. But yeah, if you did like this video please like and subscribe. I do a lot of Warhammer videos like this. Um, I do painting videos, battle reports, unboxings and hopefully soon I'm going to get me some Tau and you can watch that so anyway thanks for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye